All right, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up some squash. Of all of these squash, I can cook this one the quickest. This is a butternut squash, spaghetti squash. We love spaghetti squash. We got a lot of spaghetti squash recipes. I'll put some links around to all our, our squash recipes. Cameron Girl Breaks, a really good acorn squash dish, and I'll have a link to that. This here is a kombucha squash. Beats me. Now all these squash, you can slice them in half, and then you can put them on a uh, baking tray and roast them in the oven. But butternut squash is very easy to cook in a skillet. Now this is a dinky one. Usually, you know, I buy a butternut squash. It's like two times or three times the size of this. This is the smallest one I ever got. But you know, we're just going to use it for one meal, so I didn't need a lot. So I'm just going to whack off the end. Boom. Boom, not a lot, just a wee little bit, just to get the skin off of here. And the thing is, the skin on a butternut squash is very thin. In fact, if you had a peeler, you could just peel it, just like you would an apple or a potato or something like that. Uh, we're, we're in a new kitchen, and then, uh, you know, it's a very well-outfitted kitchen, but I can't find a uh, peeler, you know, that, um, that I recognize as a peeler, so I'm just going to slice the skin off with my knife, which is very easy as well. I forgot to mention something too. See, notice that I whacked it. I cut it in half before I started peeling it, you know, because it's going to be easier to peel. And I don't want to waste the squash, so I'm trying just to get off uh, the skin and not, not cut away too much of the flesh of the squash. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll do the same with this here, although it won't be as easy. It's going to require a little more artistry, but, but fortunately, I'm kind of an artist in the kitchen. This looks like a job for super fast cam. And look at that, I kind of retained some of its bulbous shape, so I didn't waste too much of it. Let me tidy it up here around the bottom. Now the top of this is solid. You know, it's just a bunch of squash in here. Boom, boom, boom. But the bottom bulbous part is gonna be full of seeds. So we're gonna to wanna to dig these seeds out here. How did you know that, Chef Buck? I just had a feeling. And this is very easy to get these seeds out of here. Just wanna get you a spoon and dig around in here and just pull it out. You know, it's just like the inside of a pumpkin. It's just like pumpkin seeds. So you could roast them, dry them and roast them? You could roast them. But we're not going to be hanging around here enough to do any roasting. Now I'm going to cut these up into some small pieces. Because I'm going to cook them in the skillet. Now the size that you cut these will determine how long it takes to cook. I mean you can make it super mushy. In fact you could cook it down and you can even blend it and turn it into a soup. So we're just going to chop it up into some uh, kind of smallish pieces, you know, so that it'll cook relatively quickly. You know, they don't have to be you know, crazy uniform, but you know, you don't want to have a bunch of pieces this size and then, you know, boom, and then a couple pieces that size. You know, but you want them to be sort of, you know, in the same ballpark of size so that they'll cook the same time. So now once we got our squash all chopped up, we'll come over here to the stove, stovey stoverson. Now we're gonna cook up our squash in a skillet. Put me a little bit of oil in here and heat it up. Not a lot. Gonna get that heated up, and this is a super simple recipe, kind of a coconut butternut squash. Yeah. Very flavorful, doesn't take a lot of ingredients. Skillet's kind of heated up there. Let me throw the squash in here. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll stir it around and get our squash oiled up. Like bodybuilders. I'm gonna throw a lid on here and let it cook away for a couple minutes before I add any seasoning. Be right back. Beep, beep. So it's been going for about two minutes. Get it turned around a little bit in the skillet. Let it go for another couple of minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so it's been going for a couple more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the temperature down to a medium low. Got a little bit of salt right here. I'm going to add this in here. I got a little bit of pepper. Ooh, freshly ground. And then I got some sugar. This is two tablespoons of sugar. You know, you can adjust that. You don't even have to put any sugar in here. You don't even have to put any sugar in here. Put a little sugar on it, 
baby. So we'll stir it around. Get the sugar and seasonings mixed up here with the squash. Wow, Spicy Buck didn't even put cumin, no seeds, no nope. nothing. We're keeping it super simple. Let me get a little bit of a fork here so we can so we can feel it. Because these are super small pieces. And they're still kind of firm going in here with the fork. But not, you know, we're, we're not that far away right now. I've been cooking for about six minutes, but this isn't a dish that takes a long time because I cut up the pieces kind of finely. So we're just going to let it go until these get tender enough uh, to call an end to the dish. And then we're going to add the coconut. But I'll check on it in a couple of minutes. We'll see how it's doing. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so it's been a few more minutes. Smells super duper. I got some nice color on my squash here. Let me see how soft this is. Pretty soft. All right. And I could serve it just like this. You know, I could go ahead and put this on a plate. Very flavorful. Too hot to eat. But it'd be a nice, kind of semi savory, you know, especially if you left the sugar off of there. But it's not overly sweet. But I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk to it. Turn this into a coconut butternut squash. Kind of a double nut dish. But I'm going to go ahead and stir it around with this coconut. And I've had it cooking with a lid on it. But I'm going to go ahead and let it cook away here. Just for a few minutes with the lid off. Let this thicken up a little bit. I'll usually put a whole can of coconut in here when I do this dish. But usually I have a butternut squash that's twice the size of this. So if you get a regular head size butternut squash, use a whole can. But I'm just going to use half. But I'm going to go ahead and lower this heat all the way down to low. And then I'll just let this uh, coconut thicken up a little bit. And then that'll be it. That'll be the end of this dish. But we'll go ahead and give it a couple minutes. Two and two, as uh, Mr. Woolery says. I didn't get the reference. Oh, uh, you didn't get the two and two reference? No. Chuck Woolery from uh, what was the dating show? I Love Connection. No he'd say Chuck Woolery would be like, we'll be back at two and two. I used to watch that show a lot because I'd see those people on that show and I thought, if they can do it, I can do it. Now I've been talking so much now, I think we're finished. All right, boom, I'm going to turn the heat off. Butternut squash with coconut. What a great combo. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit of coconut butternut squash. If you want to take a look at this recipe, you know, I'll have it written down below. You can go down there and check it out. If you want to print it, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell, gong, subscribe bell, subscribe, like it. Um, Say bye-bye, Buck. Bye-bye, Buck. Bye.